Women, of course, couldn't apply for the Rhodes Scholarship until 40 years ago. It very much has changed from the white, male, able-bodied person. The Rhodes Scholarship increasingly stands for good, bright young people of any ethnicity, any religion, any race, and of course for women. To one of Oxford's oldest colleges comes a Rhodes Scholarship winner. It all seems rather strange to him at first. I think it's very useful for us to have moments in our lives where we simply stop and take stock of where we are and where we've come from. The Rhodes 40th is important in that it's giving an opportunity for a woman from multiple generations to get together. It's always remarkable to reflect on how much things have changed. Oftentimes you feel as though things that you're going through, you're the first to have gone through them. Well, there was a woman who was once the only one in the entire department, the only one in the entire faculty. There was the sense that we were all alone. If there had been a way to create a telephone line across those generations, we would have felt so much less isolated. There was a lot of attention paid to the first women, and really an unfair burden. They were expected to, you know, be super heroes. It really was significantly different. Bathroom arrangements, all the way through to the kinds of syllabus that was available to you. I think it's an important time to reflect on how much we have achieved, but also recognizing how much we still need to do. It's a fantastic opportunity to bring different generations together. What's important in celebrating Rhodes Women is that we also interrogate what it means to be a leader and what it is to serve and really share around what they're standing up for in the world. To me, standing up for the world means identifying with struggles for social justice. Doing things that help the global community. It's going to be an incredible gathering of women across these 40 years.